hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. The vet destroys MSNBC anchor in jerk off <laughs> Joe's surrender speech. Uh, U.S. Army veteran Matt Zeller uh, was on with Brian Williams. And uh, this was so beautiful. If it was a heavyweight fight, they would have stopped it three minutes in. Uh, it was like watching, it reminded me of a boxer when he gets, or an athlete gets kind of semi-knocked out and they wave uh, smelling salts. That's what it was for Brian Williams. Like, wake up, stupid. Watch uh, Matt Zeller. Again, a Afghanistan vet. Um, just look at fucking, look at Brian Williams. He looks like a, uh, a fucking Muppet. When the Muppets have a reporter on the screen. Anyways, watch this Afghanistan. Go, what are you fucking thinking about, Brian? Go ahead. Didn't run from it. He owned it. He owned his decision. He owned the fact that, as he put it, the buck stops with him. I hope he gets to own their deaths, too. I, I don't I feel like I watched a different speech than the rest of you guys. I was appalled. There was such a profound, bold faced lie in that speech. The idea that we plan for every contingency. I have been personally trying to tell this administration since it took office. I've been trying to tell our government for years that this was coming. We sent them plan after plan on how to evacuate these people. Nobody listened to us. They didn't plan for the evacuation of our no, Afghan no, wartime no. allies. They're trying to conduct it now at the 11th hour. The thing that they were most concerned about was the optics of a chaotic evacuation. Well, they got exactly what they were most concerned of by failing to do what was right when we could have done it. We had all the people and equipment in place to be able to save these people months ago, and we did nothing. I'm appalled that he thinks that we only need to take 2,000 people. There's 86,000 people who are currently left behind in Afghanistan alone. We've identified all of them for the government. I have no idea why they, 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 he claims that people don't want to leave Afghanistan. I have a list of 14,000 names right now of people who want to get out of Afghanistan. And the idea that the Afghan military should be blamed for this, do you know how many casualties the Afghan military took in an average year? More than the United States did in 20. When you're not getting paid on a regular basis, when you're not getting fuel, when no one is supplying you with ammunition, okay. and yet you're still showing up to the fight, how dare us for having to blame these people for not having the audacity to be able to survive a Taliban onslaught? No, no, no. What we need to be doing right now, and what I am appalled that the president didn't say, was we need to be talking about how we're going to get every single one of these people out. <laughs> he fucking bitch slapped him. I'm loving it. Hey, Brian. You can't handle the truth. I guarantee the person who vetted that guest at MSNBC got his walking papers or her walking papers three minutes later. That's somebody who was on the ground. I'm surprised Brian Williams being the lion prick they didn't go, don't tell me I was driving the C-17. I saw what happened. I have two purple hearts. Didn't you see me fighting next to you? Remember he made up all that shit? <laughs> hey guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.